Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike. Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on December 16th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the planetary positioning and as well, the volcanic activity report for week 50. Always starting out looking at our sun and earth positions. We've got Venus getting ready for the transit, the retrograde with our planet coming up in January. We've got Mercury coming around for another retrograde around the same time. We've seen quite a few events happen across the world recently, seismically, and as well, volcanoes. Where we had 50 active volcanoes over the past week. And normally there are 25 to 35 that are erupting daily. Right now we are over 50 volcanoes erupting around the world. Now let's fast forward here over the next week or so. See what's going to be happening here. We've got a new moon coming up. And as well, Mercury racing around, catching up to Venus for Watch a tag team retrograde here coming up in January. And we are still away from all of the other planets right now. Coming out of conjunction with Uranus. Uranus. However you want to say it. I say potato, you say potato. This is how our solar system looks right now. With everybody way behind us. As we take another spin around the sun all by ourselves while everybody else is in the corner of the pie. And we've been talking about this celestial event for now for quite some time with Morning Dew, Daily Events Worldwide. And if you haven't noticed, it's changed. Daily Events Worldwide is the name of the channel now, so welcome to Daily Events Worldwide. We're going to start out here looking at all of the volcanoes that active and erupting. We've got the Great Sitkin as well, Pavlov Volcano. So there's about three there, not showing on this one right now. As well, we've got Kilauea, the Shield Volcano. Weekly activity there. Active Caldera. As well, we've got Apopo, Mexico, Volcanic Ash Advisory. It's been going daily. As well, Santiaguito, Volcanic Ash. Fuego, Volcanic Ash. And as well, Messiah Volcano, a minor ash fall there actively erupting and all of the yellow are showing signs of unrest so these are all pretty notable around the world Nevada de Rules in Colombia Sangay and Volcano and as well Reventador and just recently there was a 5.0 earthquake or sorry 5.2 earthquake Panama right in that region so heads up everybody in the region also got Sabancaya in Peru Moving southward here into Chile, Nevada's to Chilean, Volcanic Ash Advisory, and as well, Villarica. Across the ocean here over to Africa, where we've got the active interrupting near Gongo and near, near Amirigira. Going eastward here to the Old Doño, Lengai Volcano, actively erupting, and as well, Urta Ale. Active lava lake in the summit crater since June nineteenth uh, of twenty twenty. Down into Italy here, where uh, Vulcan volcano was put on alert this week. Etna volcano collapse of the crater just recently. Dead animals found around that one. Uh, Stromboli volcano also reporting active and erupting. One notable here: Campi Flegri just recently did have some activity. Across the world here, over to Sumatra here with Kerinci Volcano. And through Java with Merapi. Simaru. And as well, Luatolo. And Ilerobrong. Ilerobrong, I believe that's how it's said. So yeah, two volcanoes, very active and wow, very close to each other. One is very large and notable 
I pointed out last week on the volcanic activity report, Luatolo, very large volcano. And then just south of that now, we've got an awakened showing signs of unrest here. Ila Warong. So Indonesia, very active as of late. Many earthquakes throughout the region. Banda Sea. Could carry on here through Indonesia, northern Indonesia, Ibu and Dokono. Through the Philippines here, Canaleon, showing signs of unrest. That's a new one. And as well, the Tal Volcano. And last week, this was on Orange Alert, Pinatubo. Has since dissipated, I guess. Suis and Ajima Volcano in Japan, as well as Sekirajima. And ERA is active through the region. Again, not noted here with Volcano Discovery for some reason. Up into Kamchatka, Karamiski, and Shivalich. And the final through the Aleutian Islands here, Semesnopochnoi, very active as well. Down into Papua New Guinea, where there's been a lot of earthquakes here recently as well. So active volcanoes through the region. Manam, Bagana, Langila. Ulawan, seismic unrest, volcanic alert, level raised to orange with Ulawan, and Ulawan is another very large volcano. Bagana also showing signs of unrest. Yasser, actively erupting. Notable here, the White Island volcano, earthquakes encroaching to the region. As well, Erubus, the mighty Erubus in Antarctica. And also over west of Africa, La Palma has been quiet recently, but just on the 13th into the 14th did have another eruption, large volcanic ash advisory with that. And three showing signs of unrest here through Iceland. Of course, we got Fagdradis Folly, Grins Vaughn, and as well, Askja. These three volcanoes has been, have been showing signs for some time, and Fagzuados Folly had a massive eruption back in March. So that is an active and erupting 48 volcanoes across the world, according to Volcanic Discovery and as well as Smithsonian Volcano Observatory and Research. 48 volcanoes, and so that's two down from last week's report. Just want to quickly show here the last seven days for earthquakes across the map, coinciding with all of the volcanoes, especially down into New Indonesia, where we saw the 7.5. And look at all the earthquakes through China, Upper Mongolia. And then the swarm here in the Flores Trench, Flores Sea, Indonesia. Many volcanoes through the region. Stay safe, stay aware and prepared. And that's what this is all about. Giving you the Volcanic Activity Report weekly. Week 50, 2021. As well, I wanted to show you here. This is satellite imagery of the Haboob. The massive dust storm that went across the United States. Started in Colorado and headed northeastward. And boy, oh boy, did it pack a punch. Tornadoes and a massive dust storm ahead of it. Affecting one, two, three, four, five, maybe even six states, this massive dust storm affected. Wow, amazing stuff. We always look at Null School here showing the SO2 models and quite a bit of emissions coming out of the southeast. And I wonder if that has anything to do with all of the dust storms and as well the debris cloud coming from the F5 tornado that dropped down in Kentucky last week. Looking around the world, SO2, pretty thick in China and as well India, as per usual, the major players of SO2. Very thick particulates through the region, dangerous. And as well, uh, geothermal emissions through Manitoba, Saskatchewan, into northern Ontario. Also showing here, windy, the next forecasted four days for 
SO2. That is sulfur dioxide that is in the air, brought to you by our 48 volcanoes erupting around the world. I want to thank all of the new followers. Welcome to Daily Events Worldwide. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and as well every other video with this channel, keeping humanity aware and prepared. So stay safe, everybody. Leave you here looking at the quick maps. SO2 from around the world. Pretty good eruption came off of La Palma. Big ash cloud heading through Spain. Thanks for watching today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.